when we stop to meditate in the morning like this. It's a good time to make sure that we have the strength to deal with the challenges of the day. When we hear the word challenges of the day, or the phrase challenges of the day, we usually think of work that has to be done outside, or people we have to deal with. That's not always the case. Some of the big challenges are when you're alone and have no specific outside work to do. How are you going to deal with your defilements then? Because they can come in and they can take over. We've got this day, but we don't even know if we have the whole day. But we do know that we have right now. So how do you take advantage of that and not fritter away your time? That's a challenge. How do you make the most of the time that's actually free for you? I know way too many people who get themselves in line, are very professional when their work demands it, and then they revert to being children outside of work. But you have to remember the real work is in the mind. The big things that are going to determine the course of your life are happening in your mind, much more than the decisions people make outside. So do you have the strength? Do you have the strength of conviction? The strength of persistence, mindfulness, concentration, discernment? Are any of these lacking? Well, do your best to make up for the lack. Because living requires strength. Once you're born, there's going to be all kinds of things coming in. All kinds of things coming out of the mind itself. And of course, once you're born, then there's going to be aging, illness, and finally death. And we have to prepare for all these things. We think of the hindrances and say, well, as long as my mind is not invaded by hindrances during my meditation, I'm doing fine. But what's going to happen, say, when you're dying and the hindrances come up? It's going to be a lot worse if you're not dealing with them properly. It'll be a lot worse than just a bad meditation session. So realize the importance of the decisions you're making in your mind right now. And approach them seriously, but also with a sense of cheerfulness, knowing that you've got the skills. If the skills haven't been mastered yet, you know the direction they're going to go. And that gives you one leg up right there. But then make sure you make them strong, because you're going to need that strength.